good morning everyone today we will discuss about electric flux in electric flux generally two quantities are involved one is electric field and area in electric field see here to understand about the electric flux it is necessary to know about area vector area vector see here area vector first of all i will take a planar area element this is what a planar area element This is length. This is length of camera. I mix what right here, right? See here. This area element has the area. How to represent area? Area can be represent length into breadth. Then how to get the direction here? What is the direction of area vector? Actually. The area element can be represent in terms of area vector. And how to take the direction of area vector here? See here, I will take a geometry here. If this is red, then this is also red here. Shall I take a geometry? This is what a geometry, right? If it is theta, if it is theta, then this becomes what? This becomes b sine theta, and this becomes b cos theta. right this area element has the area what is the area area equal to a into b sin theta how to represent area here area equal to what a into b sin theta but it is a cross product in terms of vector how to represent see here in terms of area vector a cross b sin theta Here area equal to a cos b sin theta. Then what is the direction of area vector here? The direction of area vector is perpendicular to a and b sin theta. See here, if it is along x axis, this is along y axis. Then a cos b, i cos j must equal to k. What is the direction of area vector? This is the direction of area vector. For example, see here, it is an area. So this is becomes length. This becomes breadth here, right? What is the area? Length into breadth. What is the direction of area vector? This is the direction of area vector. I mean, a planar area element can be represented in terms of area vector. See here. How to take one more situation? I will take. Look at me. This is what a planar area element. This length into breadth I will take for this planar area element. What is the direction here? This is the direction of area vector. I mean, area vector area its direction can be represented by area vector, and area vector is perpendicular to a and b. That is along x axis, y axis. This must be along z axis. See here. If the area is not planar area element, then how to represent area vector? It is very important here. See here, I will take structure like this. Look at me. What I will take? This is a cylinder, right? Here, how to take the area vector? Oh, like the surface also can take. See here, like the surface also can take. Here, area element is not a planar area element. Then what to do here? Here, area can be imagined to divide large number of area elements. And each area element is behaved as a planar area element. For example, see here. I have taken planar area element here. What is the direction of area vector? This is the direction of area vector, right? Or I have taken also imagine this can be divided into so many planar area element. This represent what area vector, right? Or you can take here also. So this is what smaller planar area element. This represent what direction of area vector here also. See here, this surface divided into large number of area elements. 
what are the area elements here? This represent area element. This one, or you can take this one, this one, or you can take this one, or this one. So like this. Yeah. So many area elements, and each area element behave as a planar area element. Then how to take the direction of area element? This represent what? This represent direction of area vector. Oh, this one indicate direction of area vector. Similar with this also. Area vector and this also what? Area vector. This also what? Area vector. This represent what? Area vector. Right. Then to understand the concept of electric plus, already I said two quantities are involved. One is electric field and the quantity of area involved in the electric field. See, let us go to understand the concept of electric field. Students, see here, electric field can be classified into two types that is uniform electric field and non-uniform electric field. Generally, the uniform electric field can be represented by a set of parallel lines. And non-uniform electric field can be represented by the straight lines so with a different different magnitude or different directions. Look at me. First of all, we will take a uniform electric field. See here. Shall I take a uniform electric field? This is what uniform electric field. This is uniform electric field. I can take non-uniform electric field also. See here. This is for the point. Non-uniform electric field. Right? I think by what magnitude? This is the magnitude of electric field density. In this uniform or non-uniform electric field, I can take a planar area element or non-planar area element. First of all, in this case, I will take a planar area element. See here, what it is? This is a planar area element. Planar area element. Right? Then, here I will take a, some other area I will take, like this, like this I will take. Can I take like this? Then how to do the area vector? Divide this area into so many area elements and each area element we have as a planar area element. How to take that? See so here, I will take this much area element or this much area element or this much or like this element. Right? If we draw this line, this indicates what? Direction of area vector. This indicates what? Direction of area vector and this indicates what? Again, same area vector. This also what? Area vector. In between area vector and electric field intensity, how much angle available? This much angle available. Here also what? This angle available. Here also what? How much angle available? This much angle. Here this much angle available. Question is? What is electric flux? Here also can take area vector. See here. If we draw this line, this represents what? Area vector and this is what direction of electric field density. Electric flux through a area in electric field is the total number of electric field lines passes through surface normally. Electric flux through a area in electric field is the total number of electric field lines passes through surface normally. That we are calling electric flux here. I mean, how much area involved in the electric field and how much electric field density available, the dot product of electric field and area element. That we are calling electric flux. General students here. Here, how many electric field lines are passes? One, two, three electric field lines are passes. See here, the total number of electric field lines pass up the surface normally. But here, how many are there? One, two, three are there. Four are in one. 
how much electric field lines are passes that much electric flux is available see here you have three electric field lines are passes here four electric field lines are passes through this area then here more electric flux is available here less electric flux is available then mathematically how to represent see here what it is it is a area vector what it is the component of electric field normal to surface and what it is the component of electric field normal to surface and this is not area element or area vector can be how it is electric flux that is represented by phi electric flux is the component of electric field normal to surface and area element what it is the component of electric field normal to surface and area element that we are calling electric flux see here how to say directly phi equal to what phi equal to e into ds of cos theta here electric field intensity is a vector quantity and area vector also vector quantity that's what Vector dot vector must be scalar. That is, electric flux. It is not a vector quantity. Instead, electric flux is a scalar quantity. What quantity is scalar? Because electric field intensity is vector quantity. Area vector is a vector quantity. Vector dot vector must be equal to scalar. Then, this electric flux on what factor it defines? Electric flux depends on the intensity of the electric field, the quantity of area available in electric field, and the direction of area in which held in electric field. I mean, if area vector and electric field intensity both are in the same direction, then maximum electric flux is available, or more the electric field lines passes through surface. Then more electric flux is available. On other hand, lesser the electric field lines are passes through surface, then lesser electric flux is available. That is, the electric flux depends on the intensity of electric field available and magnitude of area involved in the electric field, along with the angle between the area vector and electric field intensity. See here, when flux is maximum here. Flux also maximum when theta equal to zero degree because whenever cos zero is there, theta equal to zero means cos zero is there. Cos zero is one. When cos zero is one, then phi is equal to e into d s. Maximum flux is available. Here maximum flux is available if the area vector and electric field density both are parallel to each other. Look at the students here. Electric flux may be positive, electric flux may be negative, or electric flux may be zero here. On what factor it depends? It depends on this angle. For example, if theta equal to zero degree, then what happens here? If theta equal to zero degree, then flux is equal to what? Flux is equal to what? E into d s. Flux is the positive, right? In the case, theta equal to what? Theta equal to one eighty degree or greater than ninety degree. Right? Then how to write here? Cos 180. That is minus 1. Then minus 1 can be done. How to write? Phi equal to what? Phi equal to e into d s. If theta is greater than 90 degree or equal to 180 degree, then flux is a negative. When flux is zero, flux is zero. Whenever theta equal to what? Theta equal to 90 degree. Then what about this flux here? This flux can be written. Theta equal to 90. Cos 90 is zero. Zero into d s zero. Then what is total flux here? Total flux is zero. What can be? Flux may be positive, flux may be negative, and flux may be zero. On what factor? What angle available in between area vector and electric field intensity? Then see here. What the side is? Direct is there. Phi equal to what? Phi equal to e into d s is the electric field intensity. What is d s? Area vector. Then how to get? What is the sign of electric flux? Flux equal to what? Electric intensity can be measured in Newton per coulomb. D S is the area. Area means what? That is meter square. What is the sign of electric flux? The sign of electric flux is a Newton per coulomb meter square. 
then formula like as well right this is what the concept of electric flux and concept of area vector after this we need to study about one more concept that we are calling gauss law so let us discuss what is the gauss law and what are the applications of gauss law let us see one by one thank you